This is Updata Analytics running on the Platts uh, database and one of the really powerful aspects with Updata of course is that you can run on multiple data services. So here we're running on Bloomberg, um, data coming in from Bloomberg and all my charts recognizing the Bloomberg data. Uh, we can move to OTC data, so the Trayport platform uh, and again in Trayport you can go straight to Updata charts from Trayport and again, we're mixing and matching exchange data. So we see here uh, MBP OTC data coming from the Trayport screen, uh, things like uh, German Power. Um, so really just powerfully moving around the data. So you've got your exchange traded products, your OTC products, and then we move to benchmarks with Platts. So um, really interesting sort of being able to use this assessment data and again being able to scroll through the data really really quickly. Updata um, has this real um, ability to cache the data and then um, store and analyze it. So we're, we're running here on three data services and within Updata from the tray icon in Updata you can configure market terminals such as Bloomberg, Thomson Reuters, a whole series, tray trading platforms such as Saxo Bank or Trayport. Um, data feeds, there's a whole list of data feeds that we uh, run on and then uh, in the databases if you're enabled for Platts and you have a Platts license then you can bring this data into Updata as well. So really really powerful um, capability there. So Updata as an application sits on the desktop just like Excel. It works the same way as Excel so if you double click on these uh, items at the top that creates these toolbars. Very simple um, ribbons that you would see in your Excel and um, basically the uh, um, scanning and alerting is another capability. So running through you have desktops, um, you can look at chart functions and update as charting functionality is really second to none. Then we can go to quote screens, scanning and alerts um, and then um, right through to um, producing reports and um, even back testing. So we can run through some of those capabilities. You'll notice on the up, uh, update system we have these um, uh, layout screens so that you can move easily from one to another. So um, one of the things that uh, you'll notice when you want to open a, a chart in Updata is you can just press the space bar to do that or you can go um, to charts and select new. And so this is the, um, the, the Platts database. Uh, I'm enabled for the full Platts data set but depending on what you're enabled for you will see in your tree within Platts. So um, a huge array of data here um, and again depends on, um, on what you're enabled for. So if I wanted to search for something say like biofuels I can just go and type that into my search. It will go away and search the Platts database online and return um, all the uh, results uh, by a fuel I should search for. Um, so um, we see here when I, I do that, these are the instruments that are coming up in my um, in my biofuels. If I remove this symbol as well, that will um, increase the search capability. So again, um, we run the search, and these are all the items that are coming up with biofuel in them in the Platts database. So that's quite um, key there and we can see now where those instruments are coming from. So I can search for any code I want. So I could search for MBP or TTF and it would bring up the full list of instruments and then all the metadata that goes with those in Platts so that I can actually see them as well. Um, quite powerful too. So we, we see this here and um, now what I could do is I can actually go a step further and I can create uh, a list of these instruments. So I can append them to an existing list and I've got lots of different uh, watch lists in my system or I can just create a new one which I will call Platts uh, Biofuels um, and we can do that and um, add to that watch list and it's now created a watch list over here for me to um, 
to use. So um, what's really powerful is that I can now open up the charts of, of these and you'll notice these charts are super quick. Goes to the Platts database and I can even scroll through this list or quite simply uh, one of the functions that people like in Updata is the ability to make this a tracker chart and now I can just scroll down the list and it will go away and get those histories. If I want line charts instead of bar charts then I can do that as well and I can just scroll down the list um, really powerful again I just turn that into a tracker chart and I can now go through the list of the data. Uh, so really useful in that regard. Lots of things that you can do with this data you can copy it out, you can export it, you can um, you can uh, even mix and match it. So for example, I might want to um, take a, a, a biofuels product. If I go and take, uh, let's see. Um, so uh, yeah, if I go and take this, uh, just trying to find something with a lot of data, here we go. So what I could do is I could say, okay, I want to see the correlation between this and an exchange traded product. So now I go and I can select from Platts or Trayport or wherever I've got the, the products. And so if you know a Bloomberg or a Reuters ticker, you can type that in and then you can see. So this is a 60 day correlation. So this chart on the bottom here is Platts data married with um, up data, uh, with Bloomberg data. So it's a, it's a, um, a chart of the two. So then what I can do is I can go and um, look at various quote screens. I can do scanning and alerting so I could scan through lists of data. I can write and run reports so I could create a report of various Platts charts and that would automatically uh, out put the data. Also I can um, do back tests. So in Updata we've got a whole library full of custom indicators and back testing strategies. So here I've run a back test on this uh, on this biofuels data and that's created um, the uh, a trading strategy around that Platts data. So this brings an extra dimension to your Updata system. Um, if you're a Platts user and you want a very straightforward, cost-effective, simple interface for viewing the Platts data historically, then Updata is that. If you want to mix and match this data with other data sets, again, Updata is compatible with over 50 different uh, data services. And then, of course, if you're an Updata user and you want to bring Platts data into your Updata environment, um, this is a really simple way to do it. So why not uh, give us a call and we'll happily run through 